have asked the county government to assist them in starting small businesses so that they can afford to raise their families. The women, led by Grace Silantoy, said they face numerous challenges among them financial difficulties and social rejection, asking Narok County Governor Patrick Ntutu to hold a closed-door meeting with them so that they can explain to him their predicament. Silantoy reiterated that the special group should be actively involved in the development of the nation as they too have unique talents that should be exploited. They thanked First Lady Mrs. Rachel Ruto for issuing about 1.5 million shillings bursary to the children with disabilities in the county. Tupunya said the motive motivated the group that had felt neglected for a very long time. Her sentiments were echoed by Marcy Nicaea and Anastasia Lenoi, who called for inclusion in the development agenda of the county. Amejitokeza leo, tumeona ya kwamba tumekuwa tukinyamaza, hakuna kile kilicho cheto ambacho tunakipata. Na kwa ukweli tukaona fadhali tuonge. Kumusia hali yetu kama wamama, na yale mambo ya nao, na yale mashida ya mao wamama wale mafu tunapitia. Na saidi ya yote, tukiongelea katika, katika inji yetu ya Kenya, tunafurahia sana wakati mama recho. Kama miaka mitatu ilio pita alitushugulikia kama wamama wale mafu wa narok. Tukua kasi ambayo alikuwa ametufanya, ametupe. Tukua tunafanya kasi ya ushonaji, mats, na ilitusaidia sana. Ninashukuru sana eh, serikali yetu ya kaundi, hasa buwana governor. Tunakushukuru sana sana sana. Tunasikia hapa na pale kuna miradi mingi unafanya. Na hizo zote ni saa kutufaidi sisi kama wanakaundi. Usitusahau, tuongeze hata zaidi. We are the leading county, kia daropiani, eh, sifa yetu imeenea kama moto, ni kasi nzuri unafanya. Pongezi, kongole buwana governor. Well, news now takes a quick break and we're back with more news so don't you go anywhere.